Hi Tooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, short video today, we're just going to go over four of the different handle types the Nipex do. I know there's five, obviously you've got the SD, I don't have that one, but we'll speak about that later. Also let me say hello and thanks to any new and existing subscribers, thanks for watching the video guys and thanks for all the support. Keep the comments coming, keep the likes coming, it means a lot and it helps the channel grow and it helps me carry on doing these videos. Um, so as mentioned, we're going to be looking at the four different types of handles that I've got. I don't have the grey and black ESD versions because I don't need them. That's the electrostatic discharge. Um, if we work on small electronic stuff. So what I'll do, bring it a bit closer, we'll have a little bit more of a look at these handles and what they mean and what they could do for you. Okay, so we've got the vinyl dipped handles vinyl dip textured, multi-component handles, and we've got the VDE handles. Just go through them briefly and just tell you a little bit about them. So obviously vinyl dipped handles, name is quite explanatory is what they are. They're basically a nice wipe clean handle. Thin plastic covers which are manufactured using the immersion process, so literally dipped in and out and they put their little stamps on the side. Bit nicer from having a bare steel. If you can remember like the old plier wrenches and old wrenches, a lot of them just come with a bare steel. So if you're out in the cold, cold hands, cold grip. Um, with these ones, you, you can feel the metal underneath. Um, obviously if you're wearing gloves with them, that gives you a bit more cushion. I do like them ones. I've got them in, there are they? Little side cutters as well. These stay in my EDC kit now because they're smaller than the. Where's the other ones? Originally, I had these ones in my EDC kit, and if you can see the size difference, the comparison with thickness, I know these are VD rated, but just for I needed them in my everyday carry. These fitted in there perfect, so I've kept them in there. So they're the vinyl dipped handles. Then you've got the textured handles, which are dipped. You've just got this, you can see it there, slightly textured, non-slip grip handles. And again, they're nice handles. Just keeps the, the grip, and if you're using oil or anything that's quite greasy, give you that extra um, grip. Again, just show you the small Cobras 150s. Just see the textured handle on them. Another one which isn't actually in the bracket is these smart grips. So you've got like the normal vinyl or the tougher plastic there and you've got this textured outer. Let's see if I can get a better picture. Then this textured outer going along them. And that's quite nice. That's different. I don't know what class they put that in, whether that's your vinyl stroke textured double. I don't know, I'll have to speak to my contact in Nipex UK, see what he says there. That's just an alternative one that I've only seen on the smart grips. Next up is your multi-component sleeves or the soft grip. You've got your two piece there. So you've got the blue and the red. One is a bit more supple than the other. And these are classes, your, your comfort grip, grip or your soft grip. These are not VDE rated at all. Um, I don't know if people just thought they wanted to do some nice different colors for it, because obviously you've got the yellow and red there. These are not VD, these are just comfort grip. You can see I got the little super nips and these are the comfort grips. I'm just trying to show a couple of different applications of them. They are nice in the hand. 
There is slight price differences between them, um, between the vinyl and the Comfort. The Comfort's the VD, the VD and the vinyls and vice versa. I think you're paying a little bit more for the testing done on these. I'm not too sure about that, but that's what I'm assuming. And there's obviously a bit more material on them. So these are the VDE rated. You can see the twin triangles there and there. And you've got your 1000 volt rated and your VDE sign there. Clearly denotes 1000 volts. They're actually tested to 10,000 volts. Um, they go through eight tests each individual tool. You shouldn't really be working on live electrical stuff anyway, unless it's you know it cannot be turned off for any reason. Um, put your reasons in the comments why it couldn't be turned off, but I know people do do it and it can be done. Um, but obviously, you've got to make sure you're trained to be doing what you're doing. You can't just go opening uh, disc boards and playing around with them. So these are the VD, and I've also got a set of the shears to show you. And again, they've all got the same stamping and markings on them. All denotes a thousand volt tested. And it's very clear with the colouring as well. So these are for if you're working around or potentially live electrical. These are your comfort grips, textured, and your normal vinyls. Sorry, I forgot to mention. If you notice these VDs got the little ears that come out to stop your thumbs slipping over and hitting the conductor and again the shock. That is the same standard on all of them. Where's the other ones? Yep. Yeah. Same on here. So you've got them little thumb and finger guards. Stop your fingers rising up and over. Hitting a conductor or contacting that. So there you go guys. That was only a brief um, talk through. I know there's going to be plenty of comments saying about this, saying about that. Which ones do you prefer? What ones do you use? Do you just stick with your vinyls? Do you go with your non-slip? Or do you just buy VD as a general um, rule of thumb? Um, leave any comments in the links uh, for the tools I'll put in the description. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Put any other comments, any other videos you want to see, let me know. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy the video.